Meredith here on the PlayStation Livecast, and I am joined by Lou Sutter of the Skylanders production team, and we are going to talk about Skylanders Imaginators, yep. but first, oh, yes. we have to discuss the return of <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> that is correct. We've got Crash Bandicoot in Skylanders, and we also announced that we are remastering the original three uh, Crash games. I love that they only showed a logo at the press conference, and everyone was like, yeah, logo! <laughs> Didn't matter. That was as excited as it was. It was a get. very nice logo. It was beautiful. It was a gorgeous logo. Really, really logo. beautiful. Oh, it was just so lovely. No, it's awesome that Crash is back. I know, uh, you know, Sean Lathan teasing it yeah. a year ago wearing that t-shirt. I've never seen a t-shirt make, like, more <laughs> more news. And then uh, we were just talking about this yeah. before the break. You know, the Uncharted 4, if you guys haven't played it yet, a little bit of a spoiler. Nathan Drake's really bad at video games, um, but he does get to play a little bit of Crash in the Uncharted 4. Um, so Crash has gone through a bunch of different looks throughout the years. Yeah. How did you guys decide on this particular um, you know, version of him, we'll say. So what we really did was look back at the original. You know, so as you mentioned, there's been different iterations of Crash. I mean, he's been around now. I mean, it's 20 years. It's crazy. That is insane. Um, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, but no, we went and looked back at the original. And so it's going back, uh, kind of shedding any of the advancements, but going back to what made him so you know lovable in the first place and trying to capture that uh, in the new generation of hardware and graphics. Yeah. And a lot of his um, different... Uh, traits are back as well. We've got crates, can't have crash without oh, no, crates and the course. spinning. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So talk a little bit about how all those kind of are involved in the game. Sure, so with Skylanders, Imaginators, and all of our Skylanders in general, we want to give them kind of robust combat abilities, upgrades that you can continue to play with, and Crash is no different. And so what we've done is we've kind of started with the base level of things you remember from Crash, you know, that spin ability, you know, some wampa fruit, things like that. <laughs> and build on top of it. And so a lot of things that are iconic to Crash are, say, those wooden crates. And so we've given him the ability to toss those out, and you can interact with them as you would in a Crash level. So you can hop on top of them, getting a bigger jump. You can actually use your spin attack. I think we're looking at some of that right up. now, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see Crash is able to do the spin. He's able to send out the boxes, and then you can spin to pick up the boxes to throw them into enemies. And so we have all these different abilities that kind of pay homage to some of the things that he's done in past games, but then figuring out a new and advanced way to do it in Skylanders Imaginators. And there's also a slightly different life system from what Skylanders is used yeah. to and what the original Crash was used to. Yeah, so in Skylanders, we always have a single life bar for our characters. Once they get defeated, they become tired for the level and you have to try a different character. But for Crash, we wanted to really, once again, pay kind of homage to the way that Crash used to play. And so he's the only Skylander with multiple lives. Oh. And so you'll see on his health bar, he has multiple lives. And if he gets defeated, he has one of his classic defeat animations, <laughs> or maybe he gets like a little angel wings and a halo and floats <laughs> off before then coming back and getting basically a second chance, which no other character really ever gets. Do the other characters get jealous? Oh, very much so. <laughs> very much so. He's kind of, you know, a secret technique there, you know, making sure you get his uh, uh, extra lives in there to help Absolutely. you out. Absolutely. Now, yeah. Crash is normally a silent character. Yes. So how does he communicate through the game? So Crash usually has, you know, the, the kind of what we call emotes, so the grunts, the noises, the things like that. And so we want to make sure we kept that to him. But we also have Aku Aku, which is one of the Tiki characters from the original Original series coming back to kind of narrate for Crash in certain situations when we need him to be a bit more verbal. Okay, yeah. that works. Yeah. Okay, so now let's get into some of the other characters sure. in Skylanders Imaginators. Yeah. We have some amazing characters here. Tell me about this one right here. Yeah, so this is Golden Queen. And so the Golden Queen was a villain from one of our previous games, Skylanders Trap Team, and she's been rehabilitated. Okay. And so we have some of our favorite villains <laughs> coming back been rehabilitated as the good guys in this new line of characters that we call senseis, who are the ultimate masters of this new battle class system that we're introducing. And so Golden Queen is one of them, and she has these awesome abilities to be a sorcerer, to cast these golden scarabs at enemies, cool. turn enemies into gold, and grow giant and attack enemies. And then all of our senseis have this brand new ability called Sky Chi, which is an ultimate battle class super move that just destroys all the enemies on screen. <laughs> it's crazy. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So and what then, about any new characters coming to Skylanders Imaginators? Yeah, so the biggest innovation this year is what we call a creation crystal. And so I'm going to hop from Crash on the portal here to the creation crystal, and players are going to get to create their own Skylander from scratch. 
And so they get to choose from one of 10 different Welcome battle classes, which are the fighting boss. styles. It's the weapons you use. Yeah, you can be an archer, you could be uh, you know, a sorcerer, you could be a knight, all these different classes that define how you play. But then you get to choose their appearance, you get to choose different gear to put on them, you get to choose how they attack, you get to choose their personality. So there's different voices and catchphrases that you can create for your character. That's awesome. So from scratch, getting to create your own Skylander is really what makes Skylanders imaginary. So I think we're taking a look at that yeah. a little bit here. So tell us right here what we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, exactly. So we've got it separated by different um, kind of chunks of what makes a character. So there's body, which includes uh, all the different parts that you'd want. So heads, eyes, ears things like that, and then it, you can have size, so you can make a character that's really tiny with a giant head, <laughs> or really giant with huge muscles and a tiny head. Uh, we've got my favorite kind of customization option I've ever seen in a game, which is tail width. <laughs> it's no, no details left unspared. No. So you can choose to have a tail, and then you can make it really fat or really skinny. I mean, it's a Can lot you add spikes of, to your tail? There's spiky tails. Yes. There's multiple types of tails. Yes. Yeah, so we'll hop into tail here, and you'll see there's skeleton tails, wolf tails. We have a sparkly rainbow tail. Oh, I like that We've one. We've got a spiky leaf tail. So all different types of tails there. Now, do you have to play more to unlock more options? Yes. So okay. in the game, we'll start with a set amount of items. But then as you'll go through, you'll encounter either random loot drops to find you know, things that could be rare or what we call epic or mythic items. Um, or you'll have certain scenarios where, say, you're taking on one of our villain's big boss characters that he's creating. He's actually creating his own series of evil Skylanders called Doomlanders. And so when you get into these head-to-head -head battles, yeah. When you defeat them, you'll get all of their creation items. You'll get the weapons they were using. You'll get the powers they were using. Now, all... do you steal them from the other player, or you just also gain them? They're kind of like copied to you. You gain them, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you effectively defeat that enemy, and they now become a part of your collection. And so it's Very a really cool. fun way to expand your collection by continuing to play, finding new characters, and there's really limitless possibilities to create your own Imaginator. I would love to see if you got like 10 different people yeah. separately, put them in different rooms, yeah. what they would, no character would look the same. <laughs> no, I've done, I've done a ton of demos of this for E3, and there has not been a single similarity. It's, it's completely nuts. Well, I like our little like green ninja alien with I'm the crossbow. That's really good. And then you yeah. get to choose the different voices. Yeah, and so you can see you're combining these different sentence halves to make your own catchphrase. Nice. So right now he's all about his bow. <laughs> and then the voices are different personalities. So there's regal, there's soldier, there's scientist, angelic, hero, heroine, different types of voices and personalities. And then you can even add effects to that to make it sound, say, like a robotic soldier or a really tiny soldier, or a really big soldier. <laughs> and so you can add the different voice changes, which are things that you'll also collect in the game. It's not about just finding you know, new heads and arms or even new armor. It's the entire kind of collection of things that you can do to create characters How you find in the game. How long did this creation process take you guys? Because it seems so involved. It's nuts. Yeah, yeah, we've got hundreds upon hundreds of parts. We've tried to do the math to figure out how many characters you can make, and it's, it's not even conceivable. Wow. And it's just been it's been a long development process that honestly we've wanted to do this since we first released the first Spyros uh, Skylar Spyros adventure because we started hearing from fans about the characters that they want to create. Yeah. And so we finally figured a way to do that and uh, we're really excited to see what people create. That's awesome. Well, when yeah. when can we get our hands on it? Uh, it's October 16th. Okay. Yeah. October's a big month for Plays I'm very excited. October yeah. 16th, 2016. Lou, thank you so much for joining me yeah, and thank absolutely. you for bringing the fun toys. Of course. All right, we're just going to take this crash with me right over <laughs> here and we're going to have a lot more on the PlayStation Livecast coming up. PlayStation.